Alrighty. Um, now, now let's do problems with force, mass, and velocity. Okay. Uh, and this is, you can write this down. Here's where it comes from is remember that impulse is a change in momentum, right? So force times time, right, is our change in momentum. And a change in momentum is just a mass times a change in velocity. Okay. So this, this has got to be our change, how much it changes by, right? Um, and then this is the time. And I almost always leave the delta t off of there. But it, I think it's important to leave the, um, the, understand that it's a change in velocity, not just whatever the velocity is, right? Uh, but the notion is that's how you would change momentum, is that you would exert a force times a time to cause a mass to change its velocity, okay? So let's do, uh, this is like the, you know, the varsity question, okay? Um, a pitcher pitches a 0.145 kilogram baseball. Okay, so force times time is mass change in velocity. Okay, so mass is definitely 0.145 kilograms, right? All right. And then uh, we want to find the force, right? Average, what's the average force exerted by the bat if the collision lasted that much time? Okay, so that's the time, right? So the time is 0 0.013 seconds, and I think force is what we don't know. And then this is like varsity, right? Uh, it's pitched at 40 meters per second, right, to the right, right? And then it's hit back out, poor pitcher at 50 meters per second, right? So the change in velocity is not 10. The change is, if this was positive and then you say that that's negative, I think the change is negative 90 meters per second. And the reason being that, you know, if you think of a number line, right, the difference between positive 40 and negative 50 is a big negative change, it's negative 90. Most problems are, by the way, not even nearly as hard as this, right? Okay, so then all I have to do is solve for force. It's this times this divided by this, okay? So let me get my calculator. I got my calculator here. All right, so uh, 0.145 times negative 90. And by the way, the minus sign is totally your perspective. You know, you, reading that problem, you could have just left it off. Uh, divided by 0 0.013, and I get the, that force is negative 1,003.846, etc. newtons, right? That's why baseball bats break, okay? Only I just made these numbers up, so I don't know if that's exactly right. And then, you know, I guess with two sig figs, we'd have to write it like that, okay? So that's all you do. Just write force time, mass, change of velocity, these problems. Fill in what you know. Solve for the fourth thing that you don't know. Okay? One last thing. I'm about to change slides here. One last thing is uh, if you think about Newton's second law, right? If force times change in time is mass, change in velocity... Right, this looks like this fancy new formula, but let me just rearrange it. Force equals mass times change in velocity over time. So what I did was I just divided by time, right? This thing is acceleration, right? So this is just F equals MA reinvented, right? Okay, and then let's, uh, you know, let's go another place with this. Um, Newton actually wrote, actually wrote his second law of... of um, of, uh, of motion, right? Not as F equals MA. We teach it that way because we tend to teach Newton's laws before we teach momentum, but Newton actually wrote it this way. He said F equals uh, M delta V over T, and then he said, okay, this, this is really it's delta momentum over delta T, right? In fact, he used calculus, right? So it's D Right? It's the derivative, so if anybody's doing calculus, there it is, right? And then everybody said, hey, Isaac Newton, what's calculus? And he said, oh, yeah, calculus is this, you know, and then now you've got to study calculus, right? I mean, you got Newton to thank for that, right? Leibniz also uh, discovered it independently. Newton had it, I think, before and then didn't publish it or something. I don't know, but it's, it's all very confusing. So there you go.